first, you want to apply a layer of glue. Then you want to apply a layer of tissue. Then you want to apply more glue. And then you want to use a blow dryer to help it dry faster. Then apply liquid latex from the outside and then work your way in. Then you're going to want to blow dry. Then you're going to want to apply another layer of tissue. You can also pull some off at the edges if you like. Then apply liquid latex the same way you did before from the outside, working your way in. Then you want to apply another layer of tissue, but make it to where it's kind of smaller than uh, what you have already applied. Now you want to add some glue, and then apply another strip, but just a small strip of it in the middle. And then of course you want to blow dry again, and then make another strip of tissue and put in the same area you put the last one. Then you want to apply more glue but just to where you add the tissue nowhere else because you don't want to make it you don't want to put too much stuff all over the knee if you don't have to. And then you want to apply another strip. Th this is just so when you cut it it will look thick and it will look skin like and gross. Now you want to apply liquid latex to the area where you applied the strips. And then of course you want to blow dry. And now you're going to want to add powder. So that way, now apply some powder so the fake skin will not stick to itself or any of the tools you decide to use. So you can blow dry and put the powder on at the same time. I did that only because there's powder all over the place and I want to get some out of the way. So you can apply a foundation, but it's really up to you. I just wanted to make sure there was no white spots because when I applied the makeup last time when I did it, um, to test it out, I saw there was white spots and I really didn't like that. So this time I did apply foundation, but it's really up to you. Okay, so now I'm just making holes. This was just easier for me so that way I know where to cut and everything and I wouldn't like almost accidentally cut myself because I did scratch myself last time a little bit. So be very careful when you're doing this because sometimes you can't tell. Okay, so now I just got cosmetic wedges. You can use cosmetic sponges, whatever they're called, and you can put them inside the holes or cuts you made. You can also use, uh, you can roll up tissue balls, like little ones, and just put it inside there to make it look like it's bulging or whatever. But I wanted it to look like it was sticking out, like something was sticking out and all that. I used a safety pin to get that cosmetic wedge through because uh, it was too big. So now you can make any kind of other cuts anywhere else. I just decided to do it there. So now with the painting, so this, I just added uh, dark colors to the corners and to the edges to make it look a little deep. Um, play around with the colors if you like. You want to put red on the outside to make it look irritated and disgusting. Blues. Um, you don't have to use purple. It's, like, it's, it's just basically uh, red and blue that I'm using. The blue looks like a purple though. Oh, and I had to add 
extra liquid latex because I didn't like that it looked plain there. So what I did here is I just added red to all around it just to make it look, uh, just to give it detail, just to like, I don't know, I was just playing with the colors actually, I just wanted to give it a weird look and I wanted to look gross and gory. That's all I was trying to do. Um, honestly, I don't know how to use colors yet that well, like, I know how to make bruises and stuff, but I don't know much else. Um, so I'm still learning that. So, basically just go with, like, what you think, and if you think it looks bad, then that's good. The only thing, um, I would say is be very careful when you're using the, co the color yellow. Um, use that last. I have made mistakes with using the color yellow, and it was bad. And also the color green, too, because they, those two colors come out a lot since they are very, kind of, like, bright when you do apply them. So, yeah. So right here, I am just getting the sponge, and I am sponging the blue and the red everywhere. Blend out the colors. Make sure that they don't look like, oh, they're just colors and they're just placed on your skin. Make sure you blend it out into your skin so that way... Um, it doesn't look fake, even though it is fake. Make sure, like, you know. And then, um, yeah. I did pull some latex apart just to make it look like the skin was coming off and it looked raggedy and stuff. But I mean, you really can't tell on the video. Um, those are just little details that I just like doing. It looks like a mouth. It looks like a face right now, so that's a little weird. Um, so I ended up adding like dark colors to make it look more deep. So I added some dark right there, because it looked like a little cut right there when I saw it, and I was like, hey, I'll just put a little, like, dark blue right here. Okay, so all I'm going to say about the coloring is use your imagination. I mean, it's supposed to look horrible and discolored. Everything's supposed to look weird. But, um, like, I'm not the person to watch if you want to make it look, like, real realistic. But I will say that, uh, I like the way this looks later on. Like, even though it doesn't look, like, too real, it looks, I like the way the coloring looks and everything. Um, that's about it. When I do add the yellow, I will add it at the edges of the paint. Of where it's painted. So this barrier spray, it's going to make it look glossy and gross and make it look shiny. And everything. So I added the yellow at the bottom. The camera didn't really catch that. And then I added yellow at the top a little bit. You can barely see it.
Okay, so now I'm going to add the blood, which was like the fun part. And the other day it worked out really well and great, but right now, at this time, at this moment in the video, like, it gave me such a difficult time and I was not, it was frustrating because this took forever to do and I was kind of tired at the end, so the blood part was kind of frustrating because it wasn't acting the same way that it did the other day, so... Yeah, you just want to add it to the corners and to the edges like that. And it's going to fall. Like, once you stand up and everything, it's going to fall. This is actually really good blood. So, And then I'm going to spray that on it so it can fall. The barrier spray, which is basically just, I think, alcohol. And there's, like, some other stuff in it, I believe. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah. You could just use alcohol, though, probably, for that. Spray. Spray alcohol in that. So I'm going to put it on the little wedges that I have. And the cuts. And I'm going to put it where I had the deep cut. And then now randomly place it. Because blood's not going to be perfectly put there. And so, yeah. My leg was hurting me because I was in one position the entire time. I didn't blend that well. Just blend it out more. Like, make sure that you get, like, the edges of it and everything. Or not. Really up to you. Um... So I just smeared blood, and then I got the barrier spray again, and I just placed it there. The barrier spray is supposed to help, like, make the colors stay and everything. I really don't know. I was just using it for the blood part so it could fall. Because the other day when I did it, it fell so perfectly, and it looked so awesome. I have a picture of it. It was great. But that's how it looks at the end, and... Like, of course, there was not a lot of coloring and everything, but it looks pretty gross. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry for the mess in my room, that was just like, this was on a uh, whim, this video, so I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know anything I mentioned in the video, please look in the description box. Also, leave a comment, like the video, share it, and subscribe! <laughs>